as always, Ted, kick us off. Who do you have as your winner of the week? It was easy this week. Um, and you can, you can put a lot of people in there, but I'm just going to say the man himself, the Greek freak, has the, uh, the ugly-looking knee hyperextension, uh, was nasty, was helped off the floor, didn't know what was going to happen from that. No structural damage, Gabe. How? And when How? you're, I don't know. Sorcery. When you're eight foot tall, there's a lot of leverage on that joint, and the fact that there's no structural damage, uh, the Bucks are the winner of the week. The Bucks fans are the winner of the week. The man himself is the winner of the week. I don't know how, but that that is a win in my book. Uh, not only so when it happened now first of all all the people coming at adam silver saying you rushed the season the turnaround was too quick these guys are getting hurt listen i don't think Giannis's knee getting hit in the air and that whole like that sequence was not a result of him being worn down or like right. anything like and i know that what they said that the calf on that leg had been sore like all that's like no 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 that was just a weird situation Right. And yeah. the same could be said for Kyrie, right? He landed on someone's foot, right? I mean, it, it happens. Well, the same but, thing with, with Trey, you know, it, Trey is move your fat know, foot ref. Yeah. He steps back on the referee. That has nothing to do with, you know, playing, playing more games in a shortened amount of time, but no structural Ow. damage. <laughs> I, when it happened, I will say this. I, and he walked off and Reg, Reggie Miller, someone needs to let that guy know that you can, you can blow, but believe me from experience, you can blow your entire knee out. Like it can explode and you can walk off just fine. Yeah. Believe me. I did it. No problem. Yeah. But it was, it was one of those moments where you're like, oh my gosh, not only is he out for the playoffs, he could be out for all next season. Like, will he ever be the same? Like, those conversations were happening. And then all of a sudden, the next day, what, Woj and Zach Lowe come out like, oh, yeah, he's fine. Uh, we'll see. Uh, he's he's doubtful for game five, but, yeah, we'll see. That would have been nice to have a uh, – remember when Tony Romo said Dak Prescott's broken leg that was hanging off was a calf cramp? Yes. <laughs> it's cramped up. I'll one of the best announcing moments, and you know how much I love Romo, but one of my favorite, just like, wait, did he just say that moments? Uh, <laughs> I replayed it 20 times when it happened. That uh, was great. But, yeah, the great freak is – he's the winner of the week, man. Wow. Flexible. Flexible? That's not the right word. Hey, and we've seen this before where – and I don't know how it shows up on an MRI. I guess on an MRI you'd be able to tell, though – like if some people don't have those ligaments and never had them to begin with. Right. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's human beings that don't have ACLs, you know, born without them. What was the guy's name? He played it Pitt, played for the Spurs. Dewan Blair. Is that right? Yeah. He didn't, I don't think he had ACLs. Wow. Like at all. That's crazy. But I got I'm, I'm going out on a limb. And I'm saying Giannis has got him. He's got I, the the anterior cruciate ligament. They exist in the Greek freak's knees. I'm saying it. I'm going out of limb. Not only does he have them, they're probably made out of some like incredible antimantium. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, what is it? A natural occurring carbon fiber in what was the movie? You know, the big giant Avatar. Yeah, I think because he looks like an avatar. <laughs> what an avatar reference. Yeah. When it. I'm just random aside here. Wasn't Avatar 2 supposed to be made? Like, wasn't James Well, it took him a to decade it? to make the first one. I guess it's going to take a decade to make the second one. Cool movie. I liked it. liked yeah. it a lot. A little tree, a tree yeah, with the powers. Like, yeah, sign me up. Why not? I'll do it. Whatever. Okay, who do you have as your loser of the week? <laughs> I had to go with the Tour de France lady that was holding the sign. Oh. Um, She's been arrested after a day or two on the run. Uh, she surrendered, you know, French lady only took a couple of days, but I, I hate that they're going to make a massive example out of her and they're going to like sue her 
holder criminally liable, all these things for holding up a sign. Um, everyone was pissed at her. I feel bad for the lady. It said like, hi, grandma, grandpa, something like that. I felt bad. She's the loser of the week. But here's the other part of the thing. Have you seen the video? Oh, it was. I. What was she doing? Like, I don't first know. of all, can we get it? Can we get a higher quality sign? Like, if you're trying to That's have someone it, like a legible sign, you gotta. It's you gotta have the white background. You can't go straight cardboard. The guy that hit the sign. It's a cardboard sign. Oh, and don't blame the cyclist, Ted. Gabe, it's a cardboard sign held out here. He's a cyclist. He should he look like my son if I like if knocked him off with a tree branch or something. A cardboard sign sends this guy into a free fall. It's unbelievable. You're <laughs> supposed to be one of the greatest cyclists in the world that a cardboard sign sends you careening to the ground. Okay. Better, better reaction. Cyclist that hit the cardboard sign or Chris Paul's flop like <laughs> off the ground when Patrick Beverly undercut him. Yeah, yeah, it's like he hit a trampoline or something. <laughs> and and Beverly's laughing at it, doing the that was I funny. hate Patrick Beverly. Uh, hate's a strong word. I don't hate you, Patrick Beverly. I dislike you. You cost the Thunder a championship. There's no doubt of that in my mind. But him him making fun of Chris Paul after that, I'm not going to lie, gave me a good chuckle. And I was like, damn it. I'm actually agreeing with Patrick Beverly and he's making me laugh. This sucks. I was watching it. And you know, whenever you've got like, you got like one eye on the game and you're, I don't know, read your phone or looking at something else. But I saw Chris Paul and I was like, wait a second. I had to rewind it and was like, what in the world just happened here? Did I, did I actually see a guy bounce off of the floor? That was funny. I loved it. Did what do you think? What is that lady going to have to do time? I don't know. My <laughs> guess is they're going to drag it out, make a big show of it. And at the end of the day, they're going to let her off, you know, come on. But here's what they need to do before. She doesn't get to eat stinky cheeses for two months. No stinky cheeses. Here's what they need to do in order to be able to ride in the tour de France. One of the most demanding cycling events in the world all the way across France, multi-day, multi-stage, through the mountains, down hills, through towns, through villages. You have to be able to drive through a tiny little cardboard sign. If you can't ride your bike through a cardboard sign, you can't compete because you're a danger and you're going to cause 70 people behind you to wreck. The guy like panics before he hits the sign and goes like down to the ground. It's cardboard, dude, held up by an 80-pound girl. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yes, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you have no sympathy for that man. None no. whatsoever. No, of course not. All right. <laughs> okay, my winner of the week. Ted, I thought about going with Abamanyu Mishra. Yeah. Are you are you familiar? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is uh, a young man from New Jersey that just became the world's youngest chess grandmaster at the age of 12. I mean, this little nerd can play some chess. Ted, I'm not sure if they're doing season two of the Queen's Gambit. I haven't really heard anything. Season one was fantastic, but they got to work our man Mishra into it. 12 year old grandmaster. I don't really know what it takes to become a grandmaster. I know it's really hard. That's pretty damn impressive. 12 really impressive i'm with you uh mishra i'm myself always 10 to 12 moves ahead of everyone else so i i feel your pain i know what it's like uh but that's awesome man age of 12 world's youngest chess grandmaster that's that's fabulous i i also thought about going with the right tackle for the saints ryan ramchek former teammate by the way signs Did he just a, have deal. a baby too just had a baby. He had a baby in, I want to say, like in January. Had a baby oh, in the okay. offseason. I thought it was more recent than that. Or it may have been more recent. Than it It was during the offseason. I don't remember when it was. But he's another Wisconsin guy, man. 
was was just a super cool dude beer drinking type of guy and he ends up signing a deal that includes 96 million dollars of new money 60 million guaranteed he becomes the highest paid right tackle in the national football league he is rich so but he was my winner of the week because my winner of the week you went with Giannis and the bucks i'm going with the atlanta hawks right trey young goes down in game three after stepping on the ref's fat foot move your foot move it he he was clearly he comes back in game three right was clearly not the same the rest of the game uh, didn't didn't have his pace didn't have the explosiveness couldn't get by guys and then it gets announced you know right before game four that He's got a bone bruise. He's not going to play it. Ted, it just seemed like quite possibly the most Atlanta sports thing of all time that they were going to get eliminated from the Eastern conference finals because their best player got hurt stepping on a ref's foot. You come all this way and then step on the ref's foot and it's over. It felt, it felt so Atlanta, but then game four happens on Tuesday, the Hawks, they come out fighting, man. I, I know Giannis got hurt, right? And thank God that he's all right. Thank God there's no structural damage. But Bucks were down 10 when he went out. I mean, the Hawks were taking it to him. Lou Williams was, he wasn't thinking about Magic City. He was locked in, getting buckets. They got good stuff from Bogdanovich. Like, yep. there was even a Cam Reddish sighting. Whoa. Ted, the guy's been hurt for forever. Well, we saw Cam Reddish getting buckets out there. It was, it was fun to watch him. And I know that they just blew the Bucks' doors off after Giannis went out, and that's completely understandable. But I think they were going to win that game regardless. I think even if Giannis plays, the Atlanta Hawks win that game. And we got a series. Now, now the two best players in the series, their status, their statuses are very much unknown. I can't imagine Giannis is going to play like that would be unbelievable. Uh, but yeah. and it's got, I don't, even though if there's no like technically damaged, like torn ligaments, hurt. It, they've got to be sprained and loosened up some. So yeah. But all of a sudden, and it's, it's not fun because the two best players are hurt, but all of a sudden we got a series in the Eastern conference. that kind of, you, you know, once, Trey went out. It kind of felt like, Hey, it was going to be the bucks and five yeah. and who knows now. And I, I know it's not ideal for the league because you want the stars to be in there, but I'm intrigued by it now because yeah. I just don't know the, and I know the circumstances are different. Um, rosters don't really match up, but kind of the feeling behind the team Feels a little bit like, what was it, 2011? No, 2012. When did the Thunder make the finals? 12? 12. Yeah, it feels a little bit like that season where the fans are just going crazy and you just kind of, you get hot. You're going up against, like, they, they played the Spurs that year. Spurs, really good. Uh, tons of talent on that team. And, you know, you just... Whenever, whenever you have that type of year, you have that type of year, you make it to the finals. Now, obviously, Thunder didn't win, but it just kind of felt like during that stretch, no matter what was going to happen, they weren't going to lose. So, weren't going to lose the series anyways. Kind of felt like that a little bit with Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. For my loser of the week, thought about going with Wimbledon. Did you see Serena Williams go yeah. down, hurt the leg? Um, you know, she kept she, – she tried to battle through it, but – had to withdraw and she's such a huge draw for that sport and for that event. So it's just a, just a bummer. I mean, you know, it's just kind of, you don't know when she's going to end up retiring. Right. seems like it's getting close to that point. Gosh, for her. I think I'll be 40 this year. And I think she's like one or two years younger than me. Yeah. So I, I don't know how much she's, she's in the conversation for most dominant athlete in, uh, of yeah. my lifetime, right? I think Tiger yeah. Woods is up there, you know, like Michael Jordan, LeBron, like there's, there's some people that are in that conference, Simone Biles now 
in that conversation, Michael Phelps, like there's, there's a random, a random group of athletes that when you talk about the, the entirety of sports, right. She's, she's in that conversation to see her go out and I don't think, will it be your last, last Wimbledon? I, I mean, I don't know. That's why I'm saying like it, it, it just kind of bummed me out seeing it. It made me sad. Well, at some point, you get tired of trying to fight back from injury, you know, yeah. there's, there's points in your career where it kind of re-energizes you and you're like, Oh, I'm going to fight back and prove something. But there's also a point to where it's like, I'm sick of going through rehab, you know? So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. And I, I also thought about going with the Clippers. Now there's still three minutes and 50 seconds to go in the third quarter of game six. And the Suns are up 89-74. Don't jinx this thing. They're up 15. Steer clear. I, and you know that I want nothing do more it. than to watch the Clippers lose. But Don't do it. I, Don't I can't do, do it, it because they haven't the, the, the game is still going on. And you know, a lot of things happen when we record, but right. we're just we're we're not staying up till midnight <laughs> doing this. No. It's just not happening. I'm sorry. Please lose, Clippers. Come on, Suns. We'll see. Either people will listen to this and be like, Gabe's either really happy or real sad because that, that series will be over or going to seven. But my loser of the week, Kansas State football. Teddy, please tell me you have – now let's, let's make one thing clear. We are both too old to be on TikTok, correct? I think that's a fair assessment. That's right. However, this TikTok – from Kansas State football players was all over Twitter, which we are in the perfect age bracket for. I saw this on Twitter. I assume you saw the same video that I did. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like it's like watching a, pro, a plane crash or whatever other event that you can't pull your eyes away from even though you're watching a disaster unfold in front of you it may be the worst thing i've ever seen in my life this this video comes on shane porter's tiktok who is a 510 173 pound freshman for kansas state he is from friendswood texas and if you have not seen the TikTok, go uh, go find it. Uh, go watch it. it. Don't watch it. But I will verbally describe it to you. They are lip syncing to Baby by Justin Bieber. Now, I want to make one thing very clear. That song is an absolute banger. And if you don't think that song is good, that's on you. Because I can guarantee you one thing, you hear that song and you know the words and it comes on, you're bobbing your head and that chorus hits and you're singing it. And that's, that's what Biebs does. Banger after banger after banger. I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't know the song. I'll take your word for it. The song is not the problem. The, the problem Okay, this is my problem with it. This is why Kansas State football is my loser of the week. I'm not mad at the song selection. I I am disappointed. I am mad at the lack of the lack of organization in the TikTok. It Okay, this is what Kansas State football is, right? And I know he's not the coach anymore, right? I know Bill Snyder is not there. I know Chris Kleiman's the coach now, but Bill Snyder has to be appalled by this video. Not, not that the kids are having some fun. They're, they're tick talking or tickety talking, whatever you, whatever you call it. But if you remember Bill Snyder's 16 goals for success, the 16 keys for success, a few of them were commitment, unity, great effort, enthusiasm. Uh, I believe one was eliminate mistakes, consistency, leadership. The, the, 
that is what Kansas State football was built on. And this TikTok has absolutely none of those things. None of the kids know the words. There's, there's no choreographed dance. There's no attention to detail. There's no pride in the product that they are producing. Ted, it is, it sucked. It's a bad TikTok. It's bad. And that made me mad. I was like, and you know what? Maybe it's an overreaction. I saw it and I was like, you know what? The lack of attention to detail by the players for Kansas State in this TikTok has me worried about Chris Kleiman's team this year. Like, I know Skylar Thompson's back. I know they got some good veteran guys, both sides of the ball coming back. But the the poor execution in that TikTok makes me think they're going to be a bad football team this year. I That's an overreaction. I know it. But what whatever, whatever this spread is for OU Kansas State, if, if I can bet on it right now, which I don't well, think I can do that legally anyways, I, which I'm not going to – let me make it clear. I'm not going to bet on that game. But if if you were to bet on the game, if someone out there were to bet on the game, I would hammer OU right now. Hammer it because that yeah. was well, atrocious. The fact that we've lost to that team two years in a row makes that video that much more disappointing. This video is everything that you hate about society personified into a 15 or 16 second clip. It is atrocious it's pathetic if i was climbing i'd kick those guys the hell off the football team have you seen zoolander yes of course do you remember when those idiots are riding in that convertible that's what they look like orange mocha frappuccino that's what they look like gas fight at the gas station it looks like kansas state hired some of the local Abercrombie models to come in and do a photo shoot in the locker room. It's, it is pathetic. It's terrible. It's embarrassing for the program. It's embarrassing for uh, the fans that the guy's got a million TikTok followers. That video is going to get 20 million views and they're not good ones. Okay. I, 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 I may retract. I just pulled it. Out. I I did not realize that he had nine hundred sixty five thousand followers on TikTok. Yeah, and yeah. once again, I don't have a TikTok. This video has one hundred forty one thousand views already. I'm shocked it doesn't have more than that. I'm shocked yeah. it's not ten million already. And I don't understand. Maybe I just I I don't think I understand TikTok very well. Is this a, is this a name, image, and likeness thing? He can't make money off that though, because can, can he make money off Bieber? I, I don't know how. To, once again, I don't know how TikTok works. But I don't know. Who this the may be genius, pay. Ted. Maybe I'm just old. Oh God, I'm just old. This is brilliant. Yeah. He's gonna get money for this stupid video. It's pathetic. And oh my gosh, Galaxy Brain. They they made it horrible on purpose because they knew it'd get attention, didn't they? Well, I don't know if they did or not, but let me just give a brief, tiny little bit of advice out there. If your company is thinking about spending money with this kid at Kansas State, fire your marketing director, and then when everyone leaves for work tomorrow, take a torch and light your building on fire. You don't deserve it. This is a horrible way to advertise. It's awful. I cannot say it enough how awful that video is. It's an awful video, but <laughs> it it could be awfully genius. Damn it. Hey, I don't you know. There's a lot of things Shane that I don't understand. Porter. I don't know how in the world that could ever generate money, but. You, you get, I think you get money for just getting like likes on TikTok. Like you get I think, paid. I think like that's One right. of my wife's good friends is doing it. Like she puts a ton of effort to it, like writes for the TikToks and everything like plans them out and everything. And I think, I don't know how much money you can make for it, but the kid's got almost a million followers on TikTok. He's probably getting some cash, right? Gotta be. Well, he couldn't until today. Well, damn you, Shane Porter. I thought I was making fun of you. And really, how does he, 
I'm how does cool. he know how to look so horrible and pathetic that a bunch of people are going to watch it? I don't know. Maybe maybe he's just really good at TikTok. I don't. I let's get. I don't know how the thing works. The only thing, the only thing I look at on TikTok are the videos of baby stuff that my wife shows me on TikTok, where what she's like, "Hey, do? look at this," and I have to watch the TikTok of them doing something to a baby. Honest question though, what if you're you're Spencer Rattler, you're the front runner for the Heisman Trophy, uh, front runner to be an All American preseason. You know, you're the quarterback of one of the preseason top team or top teams. Some have them as the number one. And there's some idiot walk on on your team that does stupid dances on TikTok and makes 10 times as much money as you. <laughs> right. It's, it's <laughs> capitalism, baby. Sits there and, and puts like some weird filter on it. Looks like they all have makeup on. Yeah, I, like what the hell, dude? But I want to unsee that. I don't. It's <laughs> messed my day up, man. It's terrible. <laughs> I feel bad for the parents. I have to look at that. Like this is what your son's doing at college. He's dancing around. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of teenage girls dancing around to a Justin Bieber song. He's a football <laughs> player. Uh, I don't know how much football he's gonna play, but I know this. The may. <laughs> listen, I don't know anything about this kid. And I, I think I've, I've completely changed my opinion of him. Whatever he's doing, man, it's working. I mean, that's a lot of people following. He him. got me. I watched that video ten times today. I couldn't. I watched stop. it at least three times, and we've <laughs> talked about it so long on here. They're, they're gonna get it. He's gonna get a couple more views. <sighs> Dude, I think we're just getting old. This is one know. of those moments where you're like, yeah. Hey. I embrace the old because if I ever like that stuff, please, someone put me down. Just you have my permission. I'll put it in the will. Pull the plug. 